all the seats have been sold. We're at Brooklyn Hall. I'm Todd Grisham. And here with me, my broadcast colleague, it's Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world, the fighters, this is just one of those things. It's time for our tale of the tape. It is Joe Joyce, the juggernaut. Six foot six inches tall, 210 pounds, and he loves to bang it out. It is Joe Joyce. Smoking Joe Frazier. His three battles with Muhammad Ali, perhaps the most famous the sport has ever seen. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from London, England, and standing at six feet six inches, here is a British Commonwealth International. And Not too many seats. And that's the opening bell, round one. Takes that jab. Swing and a miss. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Sluggers will hit anything and everything. Your head, your ear, your elbow, your rib, your belly button. They are an absolute terror. can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both of these men showing exceptional chances, by the way. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got. Oh my goodness! I admire these guys. not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Oh, man, you've got swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him up, make him go into the rope. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Put him on the blind side of the referee. Get him in. He fails to score with that left hook. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the corner man's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job. Here's the bell for round two. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. He threw the hook, didn't land. The perfect counter lands. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. Because that's so big, because they can push, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire. Because someone's gonna get hurt, but someone's gonna win. Nice counter punch. He just misses with that jab. Punch. He missed with that jab. On the right. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. And he misses. 
misses with that jab. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. You know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come on, bell, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. There's the bell to start round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. That left counter was perfectly timed. Fighter will say no moss. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you don't think him. You've just got to be smart than him. You've got to be like a little favorite and pickpocket him. There's a counter shot. Exchanges from both men in this round. Nice exchange here from both men. It's everything we dreamt of. It's everything we've got excited and giddy for. This is what we're here for. Punch, counter punch. He misses with that jam. Great counter right hand there. Left counter scores. Then step back for just a moment. And this is that jab. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool, don't get sucked in. Make him fight, your fight. Hold him, tie him up, just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's gonna pop you off. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Oh, that jab not going to score. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Solid punch. That left counter punch will score. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're gonna be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Oh, 
Oh, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. Time for the fifth round. Let's see if they have a plan B after last round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Good counter right hand again. Caution is being thrown to the wind. Good left counter that lands. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. A perfect counter shot. This counter left hand there. Swing and a miss with that left hook. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire with fire. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Then step back for just a moment. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Wow, it's like two different leagues. to the sixth round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's being hurt. He's going to come up and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Punching for both these athletes. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the problem is coming from. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Punch lands. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. And he just missed with that left jab. Jab just missed with the left hand. Still waiting for this fighter to show some defensive ability. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Nice counter shot. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're getting it. Kitchen sink. And there's the bell for round seven. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighter. 
catching sheet with the left counter. Good job. Beautiful counter punch. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter. A fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have to quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. Can't land that jab. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Missed him with that uppercut. Beautiful counter shot. Nice counter. You'd like to see more jabs. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Counter-punching for both these fighters. Hands with the right counter. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. Some of them don't get complacent. You think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. There's the bell to start round eight. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you've hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Not sure how serious that cut is, but the referee's going to take a good look at it. Hey, are you all right? Are you okay? The referee says they're okay to fight, and we'll keep fighting. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. He just misses with that big right hand. No stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. They exchange punches. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. That cut is going to cause some serious problems. Cornerman, get your job done. Do it right. Both fighters starting to get tired as we start round nine. They're off their stools, and what a fight this has been. Will it continue? Good work the last round. Be smart. Don't get too braggadocious. You'll get turned over and walk into a shot, and that's the last thing you want. Catch and shoot. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. 
When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Perfect dance partner. Oh, and he caught him with an uppercut. Nice counter shot. That counter shot lands. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Couldn't land that jab. do they use this fighter's aggression against them? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there, they want you to stand there, talk to talk with them, and have a terror. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way! And they'll get so angry, so frustrated. This round could go either way, 10 seconds to go. The counter lands. Catch and shoot. Punch.
it is official now, and that is not the way anyone wanted this fight to end. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree, I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two.